lovely starshine lights my way to bed. Magic rainbows glisten in my head. Just like a child, I live in wonder. Hi, and welcome to Handmade by Ditsy Tulip. I'm Mel, and thanks for stopping by. In today's video, I just wanted to give you an update on how I'm getting on with the mini haberdashery. You may not know about this project because it was a while ago, back in February, when I first shared the idea. So um, just to kind of bring you back up to speed, the purpose behind this project is to give me something to use up tiny scraps of fabric. Um, and I did get a um, miniature doll's house um, for my birthday, which was in February and it looks a bit like the Liberty of London building. So it gave me the idea to create a mini haberdashery. So what I'm gonna do is share with you what the house looks like from the outside and how I've renovated it so far inside. But then I'm also gonna show you in better detail some little miniature clothes that I've been making for hanging up in there as well. So I'll share those with you in a little bit more detail. Just one thing to, um, point out to you what I have done is taken lots of photos of these things because they're quite difficult to show on the camera with the being so small and what I've done is created a gallery where you can view them over on my um, Kofi page so I've only recently set up my Kofi page and that's be so that it can give me somewhere to share the photos on my YouTube channel um, but also I really need to um, save up for a new computer so that I can bring you better um, videos and better content because at the moment I have to do everything on my phone because my computer is really really old and ready for retirement um, so yeah do head over to the Kofi page to view the photos they're totally free to view you don't need to donate or anything like that if you don't want to um, but of course um, do feel free if you do want to donate I won't be buying coffee with it it will all go into the fund to buy the new computer so that I can bring you better videos so um, what I'm going to do then is just show you the house and then I'll show you the little things that I've made in more detail. Okay, so just to show you the doll's house so far. So first of all, it's got no windows in at the moment because either the person who owned it before me were heavy smokers or it's discoloured in the daylight, um, in the sunlight. So yeah they were very yellowed so I removed the windows just to show you on the outside what I've done so far is I've made that little tiny polymer clay wreath and tiny bunting just made out of little scraps of fabric and glued them onto a piece of string and then just to show you inside the two rooms that I've been working on so far So here's the first room, so you can see I've used up scraps of fabric to make a cushion, some curtains and a lampshade. I've got little tables there that I've made from wood, just glued uh, pieces of wood together. I'll show you those in more detail soon. You can see there, again I'll show you these in more detail, but you've got little miniature buttons little boxes and then at the back there are little miniature bolts of fabric and a little dress that I've made from a scrap of linen and little polymer clay plants as well Looking at the second room, I've not done a great deal inside this one yet, but just to show you what I've got so far. So um, some more tables, these will um, be turned into sewing machine tables. So they're a little bit wider than the other ones. Not sure if you can see on the wall there. There's a little notice board. Over here is a 
cutting table which again I've made from the wood so you can see it's higher than the standard tables try to do it to scale so that's a cutting table and look at those lovely miniature scissors the mannequin I did get from a local antique type shop along with the furniture that's at the back there as well and the lovely Marsha from Smoking Monkey kindly donated the little basket of fat quarters and threads at the back there and there's some miniature dungarees that I've made as well So that is the rooms so far. Okay, so I hope that you like how that's coming along. There's still loads and loads that I need to do. Um, like, first of all, create some mini sewing machines. So I think that's the next thing on the list. But what I wanted to do is show you some of the little um, mini things I've made, especially mini clothes, because I've really done um, lots of that in the last couple of weeks on the video of the inside so just wanted to show you in closer detail so you can see there the little miniature bolts of fabric which have used up tiny scraps and then here is a really sweet miniature linen dress It's so tiny and it's even got a little diamond brooch and that I'm not sure if you can see but that is the sparkly merchant and mills linen so it was really great to be able to use up the scraps of that to create something so pretty I'm just going to show you some more miniature clothes that I've made now this is a teeny tiny Liberty of London dress So again, really small. It's got a little bit of lace at the waist. And again, a little diamond brooch. And it's open at the back. There's another version of that dress that's I'd used the same style, but again, using up a little bit of the Liberty fabric. So here's this one. Again, it's got lace around the waist. And on this one, it's difficult to show you, but it's again the open back, but I've put little bits of ribbon on the back there. They're so tiny. These next ones, I think, are my absolute favorite. And this is a teeny tiny closet case patterns, Jenny overalls. What I actually, did on this one is I printed the pattern um, at a scaled size so you can see I've even got a little tiny pattern front let me just bring these in to show you so hopefully you can see they've got a little pocket detail there's a little tiny pattern and these are made out of a um, blue baby cord and I've made little tiny polymer clay buttons that I've attached as well. I made another version of the Jenny overalls from little scraps of denim. And I just used paint to do the top stitching on that one. And again, I did some of the little tiny polymer clay buttons. And then finally is a, another miniature dress. So this was made using the By Hand London Zena pattern, which again I printed off um, at scale. And that's lovely autumn colours. It's got lace detail at the neck and a little polymer clay brooch. So that's the clothes that I've made so far. They're really fun to make. 
as you can imagine it's really really fiddly and with some of it depends on what fabric you're using and um, what your machines like some of the seams are too tiny to sew so you can use little um, uh, bits of fabric glue to um, glue some of the seams together rather than sewing them and um, but they look super cute and I think they'll look great once I've got some kind of rail that I can um, put up in the mini haberdashery and hang them all up I think they'll look great so just to show you some of the other things that I've made I'm not sure if I'll be able to show you these they're that tiny these are really tiny buttons and thread the buttons are made from polymer clay just see if I can focus on them they're so tiny the camera won't focus on them so what I'll do is I'll insert some photos to show you but you can see they're super super tiny and I made those from polymer clay and then just stuck them on some card um, the little card templates you can download from Etsy Something else that I've made is a little notice board, which I've made from wire. See if, see if the camera will focus on this one. So yeah, that one's just made with wire um, wrapped around itself and I've just stuck some little vintage style sewing pictures on there. And then I've made a variety of little wooden tables as well. So I've made these from, my dad has got an absolute load of the hardwood um, floor that he salvaged. He's turning them into mobile phone holders and stuff like that. So I um, pinched a few from him so that I can make some tables. So they're uh, solid hardwood. So I've made three different sizes. So this is, you will have seen in the um, room that's got the cupboard with the fabric bolts. I've done a slightly bigger table, so use three pieces of wood rather than two. And once I've made the sewing machines, they will become sewing machine tables. And then finally, I've made a large table, which is higher, taller than these ones. Um, and this is a cutting table, so I've just kind of glued the bits of wood together. It's got a little measuring tape on there. And that's the cutting table. Little miniature coat hangers as well that are made from polymer clay to hang the clothes up with. And I think that's it. So that's as much as I've done so far. So the next things that I want to look at making is a rail for hanging up the clothes. If anybody's got any ideas on how I can do that, then let me know. I did think of maybe using some craft wire um, and creating one that way, but let me know of any other ideas. And then I'm gonna make some miniature sewing machines as well from the polymer clay. So I'll keep you posted on how I get on with those. So that's it, that's all I wanted to share today. Don't forget that you can head over to my Ko-fi page where I've uploaded the photos for what I've shared today so you can look at things in a little bit more detail. Um, they're freely open to anybody to view. You don't have to donate um, to my um, computer fund to view the photos, you can just head over and take a look at them there. So have a wonderful week, whatever you're up to, and I will see All you very soon. Bye! All my dreams are humming. All my dreams.